Blockchain energy utilization is extremely misunderstood in the sense of input versus output. And when you're looking at sustainable systems, you want to be able to measure the amount of energy that is put into the system and be able to extract the utility from that system. Blockchain technology actually should be compared just as we compare every other technology, which is based upon the idea of throughput, how much you put in versus how much you get out. When we look at blockchain technology today or cryptocurrency versus blockchain in the instance of BTC versus BSV, we see a, an entirely stark difference of what that sustainability model looks like. With BTC, because of a limited one megabyte block limit every 10 minutes, you're limited at how much information or transactions can be included into a block. This requires a, you know, a substantial amount of energy to secure the network. And being that the utility is limited to just a payment system, when you start to compare it with something like BSV with an unbounded block size, you now start to see that sustainability argument really profoundly changing the dynamic of the conversation. Without that limit, it is a technology that we can say for the first time in mankind's history that the more that you utilize this technology, the smaller that carbon and, and footprint environmental impact is. So for the first time in history, we're utilizing a technology that the more that you utilize it, the smaller the actual carbon footprint is. And that is due to the unbounded scale that BSV provides. By removing a one megabyte limit, which was primarily only put in place to prevent spamming of the network early on, it really changes the dynamics of how energy efficiency and utilization are, are viewed upon. With BSV, you have both data and finance, this fusion of, of both, that allows you to have an uninterrupted amount of transactions that could possibly sent. That spans from every different industry, whether agriculture, whether law enforcement, whether telecommunications, each one of these industries has you know, unique legacy problems that have to be solved. However, they are also looking for innovative technologies that can increase efficiency, improve their customer base and the relationships that they have with their vendors, and then also be more efficient. We are in a time where after COP26 and even SEC sustainability reporting is almost a requirement. Industries are having a difficult time how to verify that data and blockchain provides this unique way across the value chain to reduce data silos and allow these companies and organizations to communicate more freely. And this allows for the actual di discovery of these scope one, two, and three emissions that are primarily been hidden and which also motivate businesses and entities to, you know, un unfortunately provide more susceptible greenwashing statements. And so one of the first tasks that we're looking at is to not just compare blockchain technology to other blockchain technologies, but rather comparing this technology to legacy environments where we can actually see the displacement of energy utilization in older systems for more efficient energy, efficient systems such as BSV.